Welcome, Moises, who will present um, what is going on in Mexico. Um, Moises is, yeah, hello. <laughs> Thank you for showing yourself. You're an environmental engineer by training and uh, interested in how repair functions in the circular economy and how in Mexico repair joints, restoration, renovation, remanufacturing, and other actions of the circular economy. And Moises will speak to us about an app that he has produced that promotes repair in Mexico City by mapping repair businesses. So yeah, let's uh, see <laughs> what you have prepared for us. Welcome. I, I start sharing, is okay? Yeah, I can see it and I think everyone else as well. Okay, well, um, like Catherine says, um, I'm an environmental engineer and a master's student whose object of study is the stock management in Mexico about the circular economy. And I have worked as a technical support in the management of landfill of some municipalities here in Mexico. Also work as a, on a national web director directory for promote the recycling of packaging from different brands such as Tetra Pak Mexico and Grupo Modelo. Well, I will start with a small introduction about the circular economy. Let me, okay. In the world, uh, we develop under a linear economy, which consists in extract raw materials, manufacturing a product, using it to sell it to, to final disposal. Uh, for example, uh, we are deforesting forest to produce a sheet of paper and then send it to the sanitary landfill. We, with this, we almost completely devalue the raw, material, the raw materials. And if we continue with this level of, of consumption, uh, we may be reaching the planetary limits of destruction certain materials. Uh, here in the landfill, um, you can see sometimes rain, uh, the degradation, uh, here create the biogas and the leach, and they contaminate the soil, the atmosphere, the uh, water, and this is very preoccupant situation. Um, I present the butterfly diagram from Ellen MacArthur Foundation, where the biological cycles can be observed in green where the aim is to reintegrate the bio biogeochemical cycles of degradable materials. Uh, here you can see uh, anaerobic digestion, composting, uh, restoration, all for degradable materials. And in blue, there is this, the technical cycle or the stock management materials. In this, we can see that there is a hierarchy of activities for example, maintenance uh, of objects is preferred that, re that uh, recycling. In maintaining some cleaning products can be used, but in recycling, they apply more environmental impacts derived for the compaction, the storage, foundering, manufacturing, transport, and the commer commercialization of the new product. Here we can see uh, many, well, the loops and the hierarchy of, of the different loops. Uh, well, we prefer maintenance of repair over another, another activities. Mm, I show the diagram made by Oroni, who explains in the different hierarchies that exist in the stock management of, of materials in urban mining. And you can find that various activities are divided according to the phase of the product to which the service is performed. For example, the extension the, of the useful life of the product uh, we can uh, refurbish, repurposing, or recycling. This uh, diagram is important because we we can see the hierarchy of the of the different activities of the different arts of the of the circular economy, and uh, the, the hierarchy is about the environmental impact that we we make or the the activity do where you apply it. Well, about the uh, R's of the circular economy, uh, worldwide there is a talk about the three R's to reduce the, our environmental impact. Today, with the advances in research, we have established 10 R's 
uh, that participate in the circular economy. However, there are more than 38, are, there are 38 are words that help avoid environmental impacts in which we will focus on what that refers to repair, but we know that there are more than, uh, there are more ways to reduce our environmental impact. And stock management in other countries. On international level, there are different ways in which the stock management of materials is approached, such as repair cafes where a repair expert teach others to repair their objects, or thrift stores where you can buy old-fashioned things. But in Mexico, it hasn't developed that way. In Mexico, uh, repair is uh, is well, repair cafes uh, for Mexicans is a, a strange thing. They don't know about the repairs cafes. We don't have repairs cafes. Well, we have some events the, uh, about uh, repair, and they are like repair cafes. But uh, Mexico, in in Mexico, we don't have we don't have it. Um, uh, we have uh, repairs of almost any object, but distributed throughout throughout the country. And also, we don't have uh, we have thrift stores, but. Uh, we prefer another kind of, of places like, like the tianguis. Uh, here, the tianguis or the pacas. Uh, the, taca, the, the pacas is only for clothes, but tianguis is for every secondhand object. Uh, tianguis are itinerant markets where the products are also are sold and services are offered. Mainly secondhand products are offered. There you can buy and repair and me any uh, consumer consumer product. Here you can find any consumer product like beds, uh, chairs, desks, uh, doors, uh, windows. You can buy anything. Uh, we we well we have a, a secondhand market very huge. And um, some repairmen in Mexico could be the shoe repairmen who like the most. Uh, repairs arise from the need to prolong the life of use of the object due to the lack of the lack of money to buy a new object. Uh, they learn the business alone uh, through the experience. Uh, here, for example, you can see uh, some belts, some uh, bags, and they well, uh, the people have the need to to prolong the life of the use. The people have the need to have shoes, who have belts, who have bags. And they ask it for them to to repair it, and that's the reason that they develop uh, the repair of the different objects like the belts, the bags, the shoes, and the other things of of leather. We also have an, uh, knife sharpeners, uh, a pots repair, who repairs and prolong the life of the objects. But in Mexico, they have been disappearing. Uh, today is difficult to find people dedicated to this. It may be because the product that they repair are cheaper now. Uh, mm, people can buy a knife, a pot, very cheaper now or online, and they deliver for their homes. And that's the the reason that we thought uh, the this this repairmen uh, now now are disappearing because. Um, it's very it's very cheap to buy to buy it. Uh, we have a washing machine repairman who can repair at at home or assist with a van to your home. Take the washing machine and take it into the workshop. Just on this example, we have many specialized specialized repair shops for different objects uh, in most of the city in the in the country, like. A washing machine, we have a lot of, of kind of, of repairment. In Mexico, the separation of the waste is manual by people dedicated to this called scavengers, pickers. In Mexico, we call um, pepenadores. Pepenadores is an Aztec word, uh, an Aguat word. And this refers that people to separate things. And well, they separate finding a good quality objects that sometimes they sell or give away to repairmen to repair it or to obtain parts in the objects to repair another object. Here uh, we can see 
that the uh, pickers work with the repairments and also the repairmen uh, work with a um, uh, secondhand salesperson. And there is like a change of uh, circular economy that re rescue the uh, materials that is considered garbage, uh, materials from the garbage to uh, have a, a object and, uh, that have a great use, that, that have a, an, an object that you can sell by second hand. And this is important because many uh, enterprises that make this, that manufacture these uh, products doesn't know about this change, doesn't know about uh, that the, the pickers, the repairments and the salesperson of second hand uh, have worked together. And well, uh, once the situation in Mexico was known, it was decided to make in an app to be able to unite all those who seek to prolong the life of use of the object and start organizing them to, to promote repair. And also, well, a, a Recall App is the, is the app that we made. And is the pioneer app in Mexico to seek to make be to make visible and promote repair business and extension of the life of the use of the product in general. Well, uh, and it, at international level, there is a the monitor activities to participate in the circular economy is recognized because circular economy is a new term, and there is the concern to know the current situation in this in in objects whose life of use is prolonged. Like I said, um, uh, we don't know the, the rate of circularity of some objects, but we know that there are some chains about circular economy. There are some, there are a lot of repairmen in Mexico, but we don't know uh, the, the, the circularity rate of the, of the objects because we, we don't have a lot of research about it. We want to, to, to make research about, about the risk rate of, in Mexico for the, different, for the different objects. This app is part of the so-called industry 4.0, 4.0, which through the internet aims to generate information and make activities easier with the app, it seeks to generate information to improve the work of the repairment. In Mexico, there are some projects dedicated to handling off materials such as Ecolana, Recolab, uh, Reciclalo, which seek to promote uh, recyclability of the objects. This project uh, there, uh, have a, a platforms in, on internet that um, uh, have a, Repair, uh, recycling points uh, or some, some business that you can go with your uh, re uh, recyclable materials uh, to sell in it for the people and the people can uh, the, the people of the business can buy your your recyclable materials. Some states in Mexico have their own platforms where they indicate where to dispose materials in case of the Leon, of Leon Guanajuato. It established the collection route and it's of its ways. Uh, here you can uh, consult, you can uh, search uh, where is the a garbage truck and in, in one hour uh, in the, at the hour that the, the garbage truck go in the, in the route. Um, in the case of Guadalajara, there is an app that you can report if recycling points are disrepair. Also, well, Guadalajara is one of the states that have a, a recy recycling points, and you can uh, report if it's disrepaired. Well, uh, EcoMaps, uh, we call uh, we call this uh, EcoMaps, EcoMapas, maps about ecology or something like that and we have a uh, eco maps at international level like uh, there is a large number of repair sites and in, in the identification of the projects that take part of the circular economy uh, we know about uh, restart uh, we we love it 
we also know about the circular economy on the map. Uh, there is uh, a, a project there they locate, locate uh, projects about circular economy and also the um, uh, reparation guide of uh, Argentina um, that also have a list of repairments in, in Argentina. With the information generated by the application, different analysis uh, can be carried out. The app, like any other, requests for personal information such as gender, age, and location. Uh, this can guide us in the profiles users uh, who, who repairs the most, as well as the correlation uh, of what is the most repaired and with geographical characteristic in the zones through the geographic information systems. And this uh, analysis can be promoted and develop the repair of objects. Here, for example, we can note uh, by the app uh, the profile of users, like uh, who repairs the most: uh, millennials, centennials, uh, women, women, uh, men, women. And uh, for example, uh, we can uh, make analysis like heat maps. Uh, for example, uh, imagine that here are uh, millennials that repairs a lot, and also you can have uh, you have you have a river, and the cell phones uh, decompose by the wet. Um, yes, uh, decompose by the wet, or or they get broke, and the the reason is the the river, no. And you can make this analysis, and if there is a, a river here to the here. Uh, near to uh, location, you can uh, develop the um, repair. You can develop repairments like in this place. You can see some patterns in some places, and you can uh, reply in, in other places that have the the same conditions. In this, with geographical geographic information systems, uh, you have, a, for example, the river data layers. In, in the locations and um, another uh, type of information, and you can make this analysis. The characteristic of the application are the following: uh, there is a national database like that have like a, a half of million uh, business of of repair, but we only work in Mexico City. Uh, there is uh, there are more than uh, twenty eight thousand records of repair maintenance business, and twenty twenty six types of different business. Mm, there are the following section of the app. In the middle, image uh, the map which has a series of filters locate business. First location can be filtered then the product which the service can be given and finally the service that is intended to perform the product some examples of risk of of searchers are showing on the left about the furniture of holstery upholstery repair and the right a car repair in two different locations um, when you click on a business, an information sheet appears, which has the name of the business, its location, its email, its telephone number, and its location in Google Maps. If you click on it, it sends to you to Google Maps, and you can see more information about the business, the information that, that Google Maps have. And our projection for the future are to create a forum of repair of you on users where photos of the objects can be shared to develop the repair specifically of novel objects that are not repaired today, like air frayers, headphones, popcorn makers, um, anti-mosquito rackets, and a lot of the, the novel things. Uh, with this, because uh, there are an, a lot of novel products that in Mexico uh, doesn't have the this chain of security or security. We don't have the um, de develop the their repair and you can find our app and more information in the qr code you can also find us in google play and the moment can only be downloaded in in android we are working uh, for um, 
for uh, Apple, but only is, is, is only for, for Android. And that was all for my part. Thank you very much. I'm ready for any comment in the chat. Also, I share my WhatsApp number, my email for any type of contact. Great. Yes, thank you, Moises. Thank you very much. Uh, there already we had some some interesting uh, conversation already in the chat <laughs> with regards to um, where knife sharpness and scavengers uh, can still be seen and and where where we can find them and uh, yeah also that uh, these repair maps or a repair map in general is a great idea and. Uh, with a wish <laughs> to have one is very, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's something, um, or yeah, we uh, would, would very much uh, like to see. Um, of course, funding is always uh, a difficult thing, but as Janet already pointed out, um, there are opportunities and um, it is possible to get funding for developing um such an app yeah do we have questions yeah janet how is this app development funded can you tell us about that moises mm, well i'm um, a master student and i develop in the master degree i have uh, some uh, well i have some student for uh, from the career and they um, work for develop the the, the app. Uh, I don't have like uh, another foundation. Only uh, the my other the only the students that work with me. And I think that that was that. Mm -hmm. so. um, Elias, you have something to add. Um, I don't know, Moses, if whether you speak or understand French or otherwise we'd need an interpreter or Elias, could you uh, state your question in English? Or do we have someone who could, <laughs> would be willing to uh, well, if, if translate? If I write in English uh, or with my email later. Mm -hmm. uh, one second, yes. Oui, merci, merci beaucoup. Hein. J'ai suivi ta présentation. Je l'idée d'une carte aussi pour la, les réparateurs et autres m'était venue. Et j'ai été confronté à une difficulté. C'est que dans nos pays, en tout cas au Bénin, les réparateurs là, ils gagnent de l'argent en faisant leur travail. Maintenant, quand je leur parlais d'une cartographie de ce genre, il y a eu beaucoup, beaucoup de réserves. Ils ont pensé un instant que si on fait la carte, c'est peut-être pour que le fisc, hein, les agents des impôts puissent les localiser et leur donner, exiger de, des taxes, des redevances. Quoi. Maintenant, je voudrais savoir quelle stratégie tu as utilisée pour que ces réparateurs puissent accepter se faire localiser sur ta carte. Quel langage tu leur as tenu? Quelle stratégie tu as utilisée? Merci. Okay, uh, I understand that uh, what a strategy that I uh, used for a, a, well, um, well, uh, all of these uh, repair uh, workshops of repairments, uh, there, there, there are from the from sense. Uh, for uh, a sense of, of Mexico government. Mexico government, government uh, do a sense every five years about uh, the business that are in Mexico. Uh, and this is uh, uh, like free information, free government information. And you can consult in their uh, uh, web page of, of the government. But I put in, a, in an app for be able for, any, for anyone. And the the information is is free on 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 internet. Okay. Thank you, Panda, also for 
translating. Do we have any other comments or questions? Uh, Marta also has another question. Do those maps include OEMs for those products that still have warranty? Uh, excuse me, what is uh, OEM? Uh, the manufacturers. Okay. No, uh, the, um, well, this requirement work alone. They don't uh, work with the, well, they have their own guarantee, but they don't work with the guarantee of, of the product of the manufacturer thing. They only work with, uh, with repair the things by their results. And there is very, uh, I don't know, very, um, Apart, they work um, by his, the, their selves. And another question. Uh, has the app helped increasing the number of repairs or is it more a way of getting the overview of repairs online instead of a phone book? Uh, yes, the, the app uh, helped to increase the, the number of the, the, the repairs. Also, we want to develop the repair of on of the novel objects. And uh, yes, the we are develop the the forum where the repairs can be online, and uh, you can uh, uh, share your uh, telephone number in online with the with the repairman, and you can. Uh, you can uh, talk with, with them to, to repair on other things. Okay, great. Thank you, Moises. And uh, yes, uh, in case you haven't seen, we are not now not taking a break, but we're going to listen to another presentation.